One thing has not changed. God created a world of cause and consequence. When you follow fundamental principles engineered and presented to us by our Creator, life is simplified. When you violate these timeless principles, life gets messy and quite often painful. In Romans 12, 2, we receive what I call a friendly warning. It begins with these words, do not conform to the pattern of this world. Another way to say this is, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. I don't believe this scripture means that God doesn't love the world. Quite the opposite. He loves us so much as one of a kind individuals that he wants the best for us and therefore he is revealing a failure path so that we can be alert to the failure path and avoid it. If you are a parent, you can better understand what our Heavenly Father is doing. He loves us so much, He doesn't want us to experience the heartache and dead end of going down the wrong path. It's the same thing you would do as a loving parent, right? In this case, the failure path is copying the values and trendy habits of an increasingly secular world. Today, it is harder and harder to distinguish a Christian from a non-Christian at least based on how they live their life, how they speak, what they watch, and how they express themselves. The political establishment, media powerhouses, and corporate America are overtly hostile to the Christian faith, worldview, and values. The pandemic exposed a very fragile faith in many churchgoers. Large numbers have yet to return to their previous habit of weekly worship. Many, if not most churches, march lockstep with a secular humanistic government effectively abandoning their congregation in the middle of a storm when they were needed the most. In the message translation, Romans 12, 2 tells us this, don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. This is Tommy Newberry because mindset makes all the difference.